Hello and welcome to this Rolly Equator 2 tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the math functions. Math provide various ways to combine and alter modulation sources, generally in a mathematical way. There are a few different actions that can be chosen from this drop-down menu. And each one works in roughly the same way. Most functions have two sources. These can either be static values dictated by the position of the source control, or you can apply modulation to them from other sources. A couple of the modules, Quantize and Lag, only use a single input source, but we'll cover those shortly. The Scale Factor control changes the output of the maths module and can be modulated by another control. For example, you might use a macro to control the amount by setting the scale to zero and applying the modulation to 100%. Then, once your maths module is set up, you can use it as a modulation source just like any other. Let's take a look at the various functions. Add is self-explanatory. For example, here I'm going to add two LFOs together to make a more interesting shape. Then I'm going to apply the math to the coarse tune of this oscillator. Now we could do this by just applying the two LFOs directly to the coarse tune and the two modulations would be added together. However, by using the math source I'm able to use the scale factor as well. So for example, I could apply macro 3 to the scale factor and now macro 3 acts as an amount control for the combined sources. Multiply is also self-explanatory. It can be used to multiply one source by another. One really useful implementation for this is in MPE patches. In this one here, I'm multiplying the slide, which is the vertical movement on an MPE controller, with the pressure. What this means is that the pressure won't have any effect until slide is up. When I hit a note on my MPE keyboard, pressure has no effect. But as I slide up, it does have effect. This is really useful in MPE patches to allow you to play a more stable sound at the bottom of the keyboard and then as you slide up have something that's far more expressive. The quantize function takes any modulation source applied to source 1 and quantizes it to a resolution set by this knob here. In this simple patch again I've got the maths function applied to the coarse pitch of oscillator 1 and I've got this LFO assigned to source 1. You'll be able to hear the quantization of the LFO. This is a really useful one to use if you like emulating old computer game sound effects. Max threshold will stop a source from going above a certain level. So here I've got the LFO assigned to source 1 and I'm using source 2 as the maximum level. So if I open source 2 all the way out you can hear um, math again is going to the coarse tune of the oscillator. And as I reduce source 2 down, you'll hear that the LFO is truncated at a certain level. Minimum threshold does the opposite. It truncates the minimum value that source 1 can go to. Max and min threshold are great for combining two modulation sources to come up with a third modulation source that is related but not the same. So the final function is lag. Like Quantize, this only uses source 1 as an input. It applies a low pass filter to the modulation source coming in, which has the result of applying lag to that source. The more lag you apply, the more time it'll take for that source to drift from one value to another. So this is a sound where I use aftertouch in this way 
and I'm using Aftertouch to bring in some samples of birdsong which go over a very sort of mellow uh, zen pad sound. Without the lag it sounds like this. I'll apply the Aftertouch now. The aftertouch, remember, is going to source one, and then the math is going to the level of the oscillator with the bird song on it. If I now play the same pad and use aftertouch, you'll hear the difference. So you can hear that there's a gentle fade in and fade out on the bird song. So those are the math functions for Equator 2. Thank you for watching and join me soon for another video.